what part of its rig don't you understand so I believe that the system is rigged against a lot of people and a lot of social groups and I feel like there's a lot of issues that are going on as we speak and in particular immigration is a big deal there's also the travel bans I could go on down the list but back November 2016 Donald Trump said the system was rigged against him but I believe it was the total polar opposite it was rigged in his favor and now that in hindsight thinking about the claims that Hillary Clinton made she was really absolutely correct about Russia having meddling in the voting and the outcome of Donald Trump being elected and as we now see in the unfolding uh, what was thought to be con just a conspiracy is is actually uh, a nightmare that is coming true and also um, what has happened more recently is in the sanctuary cities there's been lots of raids there's been a lot of fear and growing fears that there will be more raids and more deportations so I feel like on um, comparison between Obama and Donald Trump I think Donald Trump is worse in terms of deportation now they said that Obama had deported uh, uh, numbers some large numbers of immigrants that were undocumented but there was a certain group that he had under that clause of deportations I know one was people who had overstayed their visa I believe people who maybe never went ahead and did any paperwork to become uh, legalized uh, maybe they didn't have any uh, work permit um, there's some other rules under there and also criminal background so and some of the investigating that I did was that some people that come from other places that are unaware of the American laws are not aware of their their rights as a human being and where they fit and so there is an organization called the National Immigration Law Center and it uh, will list out even in English and in Spanish the rights of people just basic human rights no matter what and who the president is <laughs> so um, I would think that this might be a good tool for people who are unaware of how to exercise their rights if they're unsure and they have questions but what I was concerned also about is that um, there are a couple of things June 15 2012 President Obama created a new policy calling for a deferred action for certain undocumented young people who came to the US as children applications under the program which is called deferred action for childhood arrivals which is called DACA began on August 15 2012 they put together uh, a Q&A questions and answers and, and some some facts and so there's a, a list of them so what does deferred action mean that action means deferred action is a discretionary limited immigration benefit by DHS it can be granted to individuals who are in a removal proceeding who have final orders of removal or who have never been in removal proceedings individuals who have deferred action status can apply for un uh, for not unemployment but for employment authorization rather and are in the US under a color of law however there is no direct path from deferred action to lawful permanent residence or to citizenship and it can be revoked at any time so there there is certain rules under here and it it goes into full length it talks about um, the misdemeanor aspect of it it talks about um, how old do I have to be to apply for deferred action it goes on it talks in depth it has several bullet points that it talks about and I would think anybody that's in this particular situation would want to 
even look at this to see to get uh, an idea of what they're dealing with but there's a lot of people who are un unaware about things because they just simply don't read about it but if you see here I, I said that it's not just one group that is targeted it's also African Americans you know like back in the 70s and 80s 90s there was the drug epidemic the crack cocaine in the 80s 90s and even before and there are certain poor neighborhoods, low income neighborhoods, or certain social groups that are targeted, and everything is rigged. You know, like I said, elections, uh, health care, money, all kinds of things. There's all avenues and aspects of this. So there's no stone unturned. So I wouldn't be surprised of what happens next, but I feel like, for one, with the drug thing, like back in Inglewood um, in the 80s with the Ricky Ross situation the 80s 90s there was the whole Contra issue and that's all over the net you can look that up and I'm sure there's books on it and there's documentary and there's footage but that was was said to be a conspiracy which also turned up to be true a nightmare that unfolded and it was like a targeting of African Americans and that's what we have now this mass incarceration issue and noticing that now they're trying to release people who have been wrongfully accused of murders and crimes and drug uh, uh, sentences that are long uh, sentences that don't even make sense either they don't have enough evidence or drugs were planted on them it's all kinds of stuff and it's a myriad of, of, of what what was called conspiracies which are actually now people are seeing oh wow this wasn't a con just you know talk it it's reality so now you're seeing that a new group of people which are white people who have drug addictions and now the drug sentences are not the issue uh, the people are not so much the issue it's more the drugs how can we how can we have rehab and programs to help people get off drugs and you know and it's more about that type of stuff more so than targeting the initial people who are users and when it was African Americans it was the contrary it was targeting African Americans and putting them in prison for long sentences and you know shooting people and you know locking people away and and so now everything the tables have flipped so I feel like that also is a, 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 a really bad, you know, uh, flaw in terms of government. And I feel like a lot is rigged. A lot is rigged in, in terms of social groups, different atmospheres, different people of social class. Like if you don't have a lot of money, if you can't afford a lawyer, <laughs> a lawyer is appointed to you, you know. So and if you don't know your a rights here in America you're targeted because you're easy game you know in terms of you know coercing you or persuading you to sign your name on the dotted line and now you're deported so I was listening to a talk about some of the tactics that ICE uses for one they knock on doors and they have police outfits on but they're not the police they're immigration and customs and um they're also they persuade people do not open the door to be allowed to enter your home ice must have a warrant signed by a judge so do not open your door unless ice agents show you a warrant so a lot of times they almost never have one so it says that the ice agents they want to show you a, a warrant they can hold it against the window or slide it under the door but it has to be a valid warrant and it must have the correct name and address on it so a lot of times they'll have pictures of other people and it's not even you and then a lot of times people are suckered that way and they think oh the picture's not me and that's not who they're looking for I'm not the one so I can open the door and then if you happen to be somebody that maybe you you came here from a long time ago but you don't have legal papers they can still deport people like that so I've heard that it wasn't from from the beginning Donald Trump made it seem like they wanted to get rid of criminals and all these people these bad people he claims um, but they're deporting people who 
maybe they don't have any criminal record or maybe it maybe if they had some kind of infraction it was minor uh, it could have been a traffic ticket um, or an unpaid traffic ticket or it could have been something that happened a long long time ago and nothing has happened in between those years but because it comes up you know every little thing you know so there's been a lot of lying there's been a lot of what they say quote unquote conspiracies but their nightmares coming true.